Hi, I'm Howard Green from hgreentennisfit.com and today we're going to take you through a post-session cool-down, a routine you can use either from training or after a match. First section of the cool-down, we're going to just take you through a warming down process, so post-session, post-match, then we can have elevated heart rate, which we've been working really hard. So one of the things we're going to do is just bring that heart rate down and start to kind of promote that recovery. We can use this through a few different methods. Ideally, if possible, we're going to use this through an off-feet conditioning, so something like a rower, first climber, or bike. If those things aren't available, then we can go for a light jog. After warming down, the next section we're going into is to use the foam roller. Using the foam roller can just start to help with the recovery process, uh, massaging through all the muscles and the key muscles that we've used during our tennis play. So we're going to have a bottom-up approach with our rolling. We're going to start with the calves. We can roll with both calves on there at the same time. If we want to increase the intensity, what we can do is stack one leg on top of the other and roll. The other thing you want to think of is the calf isn't just one area. Try and explore by rotating the foot inward and outward to try and use and relax all of the muscles in the lower leg. Yeah. Rolling out the hamstring as we did with the calf, we can explore inner and outer areas of the hamstring. We're going to roll out the groin or the adductors. Sometimes a little bit tricky to get into the right position with this. So what I tend to do is set up as if I'm going to do a side plank and then I'm just going to bring my knee on top and then from there I'm just going to roll through the inside of the leg. I'm usually going to have quite a sticky point here closest to the knee so just spending a bit of time release that as well as moving through the full range of the muscle. Next we're going to focus on muscle here TFL that feeds into IT band as well as the glute. We're going to look, look to release around these key areas because if not done so then we can end up with kind of knee pain on the outside of the hip. You can monitor a change the intensity by placement of this foot so if we now stack up on top of each other this is going to be a lot more intense in this position than having this foot position. Onto the glutes we've got the option of massaging in this position and then we can also bring the foot on top of the knee in this position and also here and this will just give us a little bit more intensity now that we've got a lot of weight now going through this direct position. Into the quads. And on fours, keeping this one, just make sure you're bracing throughout. We're not looking, we see people with a sag in the back, they're putting undue stress on the back. It's really important that we brace almost like we're doing a plank. When we're completing. Level one in terms of intensity would be two legs at the same time, and then we'd increase the intensity by going onto one leg. Again, try and focus on the full length of the muscle. Yes. Body now focus on the lats, lats that come down all the way down the side of our body, really important, use those a lot in serving, and smashes, overhead actions, so just getting myself into this sideline position, and massage in and around the armpit, around the back of the shoulder, just to release this upper section, we can also 
Put into more of a knee, uh, sorry, a chest hook position. And then roll down the whole length of the lap. Just releasing out the pec. Again, a little bit like the adductor, it can be quite difficult to get into the position ideally. I'm just going to set up the roller on an angle. Arm comes over the top just to be able to put your body weight into the roller just to massage that pec and the front of the shoulder. The last bit we can work on is through the forearm. Obviously, if we get tight with the gripping of the racket. So, for a bit of self massage, what we tend to do place the forearm into the hand, then it comes around fingers on top and apply pressure through fingers on the top of the arm and then just rotate around. So just searching around the top of the forearm looking for any tight spots. Next section we're going to move into that's going to be our static stretching. So we're going to use key muscles throughout our tennis play. We're going to return those to their normal length. During tennis play we can actually lose some range of motion within the shoulders so after we've done the stretches in and around that shoulder joint what we can do at the end is just add in some band exercises. 